Rip, rip, rip it up. What's up, people? Welcome back to Crash Flow. And today we got another rip tip. Last rip tip, we went over hippie hops. And I want to continue these fun tricks that, you know, some people might overlook in skating. So today we're going to do wallies, which is another one of my all time favorite tricks because A, it feels really good, and B, they look really good. And it's just a great trick. I'm pretty sure the first guy to start doing wallies in like the 80s and 90s was not as coppas. And it kind of started from just doing wall rides but flying off the side of a wall. And that's kind of how they started, people started doing them. But now it's like, you know, wall is a great trick because it could be an alternative way to get up ledges, over things. You know, you literally can fly and catch air off of wallies. I mean, I feel like now kids are doing wallies into rails and everything and you can catch air like an ollie almost, but it's a certain technique and you gotta kinda practice some, you know? So today we're just gonna cruise around the city, try to find some wallies. There's all sorts of stuff in New York City. Well, I'm lucky, but you know, if you're in a small town or wherever, I would just recommend, you know, starting with maybe something that's a little slanted if you can find, but we're just gonna cruise around and try to find some wallies. So let's go. right now because there's these perfect little bell shaped looking obstacles like this boom in the middle of Houston you'll see they go all the way down Houston in Manhattan and this one has a little bank in this to the curb so it's even easier to learn how to wally off that so it's a perfect thing to learn how to wally And if you can find a wally with a slant or a bank up to it, it's gonna really help to make it easier to learn. All right, middle of the house, there's two packs for wallies today. So we're gonna keep it moving. There's a million things in New York City you can wally. So these light posts, some of the best things you can wall in. Love, 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 gotta love a Wally. -E. Up, oh, this is a perfect spot for one. Yo, what's good? What's good? Pink man, pink man. He likes doing his thing, Shane on. Booster and Spring, come on down. Let's so I work. Are. Show us we got Marina Ryder, we got Anna Lustberg. What's up, got, guys? You know what I'm saying? In the shadows. This is your stuff? That's the. Oh, where's your there. pieces? Where's your pieces? They're all over. You can look at that one if you want. Oh. Wow. You never know what you're going to catch on the street. My man, Pink Man Marcus. Good to see you. Eli's bro. in the house doing his thing, baby. <laughs>
right, I found the perfect little metal edges to learn how to wall it. Right there. Oh, right there. As you can see, they're like a little slanted and they're just these little metal ledges. So really the point is you can find anything like a little curb. That's the fun thing about wall. You, the better you get at them, you can kind of wall anything. So these are perfect learner things. You can start really by just hitting your back wheels. You don't have to hit full wheels all the time. I mean, the point of a good wall is to get both wheels on there. But if you just start with your back wheels, like on little things like this, you just be able to start learning how to do it. I might, I might. So on a little one like this, you can literally just angle to go right over the top and bash your back wheels over it. Then when you find a bigger wall like this, it's all about your angle. And you really have to kind of play around with your angles. You can go more parallel or more straight at it, but I like to get about a 45 degree angle. And it's really all about bashing all your weight into it with your back and scraping those front and back wheels all the way up and over. But you don't want to lose your momentum or get stuck on the wall. So you really have to ricochet off the wall and push the, your back foot up and over, then kick forward with your front when you get over it so you can ride away. So the point is to not lose that momentum. And as you scrape your back wheels up and over, you ricochet off the wall, pushing the momentum up and over. And the more you get comfortable with it, the more you can try to wall ride almost a little bit more and push out and over. So that's your basic wally, downtown New York style. But like I said, it's just an alternative way to get up ledges, skate ledges, and it's really fun. So I want to try to get one more wally because there's basically a million different variations you can do out of wallies, 180, switch, whatever, or into manuals. I didn't get all that in, but try to get one more out of the day. See what happens. Ooh, it's another reason why I love New York City. You got spots like this, perfect little ledges. You could do wallies in and out of. Look at that. So there you go. End the day at these little wally ledges right here. You grind a wally out or wally to grind like I was just doing. And that's why I love New York City. You got all these spots like this you can get really creative at. And that's why I love wallies. There's a million different wally variations, 180s, into tricks. You know, then you can pull, learn pole jams, which is next. And then you get into wall rides. And uh, like I said, it's an alternative to get up things rather than ollie. And it's a cruise control, board control trick. So hope you go out there, try some wallies, get it in, have some fun. All right, guys, listen.